enzymes are special types of proteins that catalyze reactions. Some enzymes consist of two parts, the protein part, called the apoenzyme, and a non-protein part, called the cofactor. The cofactor can be a metal ion or another organic molecule, called a coenzyme. Vitamins are the raw material for many coenzymes. A cofactor usually has an effect on the final shape of the whole enzyme, affecting its ability to catalyze its reaction. An enzyme acts upon another molecule, which is called its substrate. The active site is the region of the enzyme that acts upon the substrate. Enzymes have three important properties. First, they are quite specific, which means they will only catalyze one or two reactions. The specificity of enzymes comes from the close correspondence in shape between the substrate and the active site. Second, enzymes are also very efficient. They can catalyze reactions at a rate more than 10 million times faster than would occur without enzymes. A single enzyme molecule can process more than 10,000 substrate molecules in one second. The third important property of enzymes is that they can be controlled in several ways. Activity can be affected by the genes, which determine the concentration and rate of synthesis of all proteins. Enzymes can be inhibited or enhanced by substances within the cell. The cofactor is often involved in this process. In this example, the active site is inaccessible due to the presence of the inhibitor. Many enzymes exist in inactive forms and are turned on by their chemical surroundings. For example, digestive enzymes in the stomach are inactive until they contact the hydrogen ions there. The ions break some of the bonds in the enzyme and part of it falls off, exposing the active site. The first step in the action of an enzyme is that the substrate makes contact with the active site of the enzyme. In order to carry out the reaction, the shape of the enzyme is changed, and the reaction causes the substrate to change. This could be a rearrangement of its atoms, a decomposition, or a synthesis of two substrates. The enzyme is not altered in this process, except for the change in its shape. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is a molecule that stores energy that can be used by the cell. The usable energy is stored in the bond holding the third phosphate. This bond is formed during the processes of cellular respiration. The release of energy from ATP is controlled by enzymes called ATPases. ATPases use the energy from the breakdown of ATP in very specific ways. ATPase in the cell membrane uses the energy from ATP to move ions against their concentration gradients. This membrane protein transports sodium out of the cell and potassium into the cell. As such, it is called a sodium-potassium pump. Because this pump also acts as an enzyme to hydrolyze ATP, it is also called ATPase. Another use of the energy in ATP is in the contraction of muscle. Proteins in the muscle pull past one another. The energy for their movement comes from ATP. As they move past one another, the muscle shortens. Myosin is the protein that splits ATP. It is also responsible for the pulling. It is therefore called myosin ATPase. A third use of ATP is in the synthesis of molecules. In this example, glycogen is synthesized from glucose by a series of enzymes.
the properties of enzymes make them very important for effective functioning of many cellular processes.